You know the mistake most people make? They come to the stage thinking about themselves. How am I looking? What is my jacket looking like? What is, is my shoe in the right position? You know, is he looking at me? Am I now? When you think that way, who are you focusing on? Yourself. Yourself. Correct. Imagine the scenario. Imagine Sachin is, you know, playing, or anybody who, who let's say Virat Kohli is hot now in the cricket scenario, especially for ladies. Uh, so Virat Kohli is, let's say, batting, and a ball is coming, and it's last ball. He wants to hit a sixer. Do you think he's going to focus on the ball, or do you think he's going to focus on the helmet? What if he starts focusing on the helmet? Is my helmet in the right position? What will happen? He can't hit the six. That's exactly why most people have stage fear. Not just stage fear, but when you speak to people, the moment you understand that your presentation or your coaching or your content or your information, it's not about you, it's about them. The moment you understand that I am here for Benjamin, I'm here for Elias, I'm here for Prachi, then you will not feel focused. Because now you are not here to impress them. Now you are here to give a message. That's exactly what the thing is. If you have a child or if you have a brother or sister who is small, if they fall down, do you think, oh my god, he fall down, let me pick him up? Or do you think, oh he fall down, what if I go now, what, what if he thinks bad of me? Do you think that way ever? No. But that's what we think about in public speaking and presentation. So from this point forward, don't focus on, I'm going to give you much more techniques later on, don't focus on yourself, focus on the audience. And here's a question for you. I want you to think about and tell me in the last 48, last 24 hours, tell me two scenarios where you spoke to somebody. Number one is where you focused on yourself and number two where you focused on other people. It might be a phone call or a general conversation or a presentation. Last 24 hours, think of a time when one time when you focused on completely on that person and you spoke and one time when you focused on yourself and you spoke. Connection was how did that affect? Apart from the connection, do you think uh, was the? Con I don't want to know what the conversation was about, but do you think it was something to benefit her or to make her understand something? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you think if you focused on yourself, you think if you focused on her, do you think should be much more confident about your absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Then this, the, you know, in the evening, I had a meeting with one of my uh, friend for his uh, digital marketing uh, activities. Yes. And that's where you know, like I, I was there for him, not for me. So then I know was able How was the connection there? It was very easy, you know, like very easy. Like, like yes. I, yeah, you know, if I, I prepare both the things, I know, like when I was speaking with my wife, I had that uh, heaviness here. But then in the evening when I spoke, you know, it was like it was quite easy going. And then I asked myself this question yesterday: that why you are able to speak with him and not, not, not mm. with, uh, with my wife? But now I. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. So one point when you focused on yourself in the last 24 hours and one time when you focused on the other people. Shashank, can you remember? Yes. So, I mean, last evening I had a conference call. On yes. So in the conference call, there were a leadership team, sales team and all. So, you know, if such big people are on the call, you generally get nervous. So, I mean, I was more concentrated about how I want to deliver my speech and yes. present the financials. So, I mean, I did held back some part of my speech and after that I felt that I should have presented better. Better. So I mean, this was one of the incidents. So, that. do you think I want to interrupt you for a second? Do you think if you now that you know that you got to focus on them, next time when you are on a conference call, and if you keep in mind it's all about them getting the information and then me giving the information, do you think it will help you feel more confident now? Yes, it will. I mean, if I am more relaxed and if I think that I'm going to deliver deliver them better and they are much useful than me, so I mean, definitely I can do much better.